Hey, what's going on? Another PSP video. This one is for the latest update of 6.60 Pro B9. Okay, it's the latest update, and this works on all PSPs, the 1000s, 2000s, 3000s, and PSP Go's. Um, what this basically does is, if you've been following my videos on how to install custom firmware on your on your PSPs, it makes it more like a M33 firmware as opposed to having to run through a bunch of hoops and going through um, like starting the demo then you start your game. This enables you to start the game right away. Uh, unfortunately it's still not permanent however this still makes it a lot easier. First thing you need to do is you need to be on official firmware 6.60 6.60 uh, if you don't know how to do that already I'm going to show you really quick all right download will be in the description below um, when you open it up <clears throat> you will have an eboot.pbp file okay next thing you want to do is you want to plug your PSP this is a 3000 there's the microphone jack hole whatever you want to call it right there for proof uh, plug it in go to the root of your memory stick next thing you want to do is click on PSP go to the game folder if there's not already an update folder that's fine simply right click hit new folder and then rename it update okay open up the PSP uh, if in, un, I'm sorry this folder right here the PSP dash six six zero okay inside there, there will be this eboot.pbp file simply click and drag it into there okay once it's in there go to your PSP and you will have the PSP update version 6.60 okay and to show you that I'm already on it oh, I gotta cover up the MAC address because someone might write that down I don't know what that's gonna do but uh, I don't know if you can see that or not that is pretty crappy I have trouble focusing anyways it says version 6.60 I don't know if you can see that or not I'm kinda of looking through the camera lens alright next thing you wanna do is once you are on that particular firmware, you want to go back to your computer, leave it, put it on USB, open it up. You can go ahead and X out of this now. Now the next thing you want to do, now you're back on the root of your memory stick. Now you want to open up the 660 Pro B9 folder. Okay. <clears throat> next, go to PSP on the root of your memory stick game okay now out of all these files that are going to be in the 660 pro dash b9 okay the only folders you're concerned with okay are these two fast recovery and pro update okay that is all so once they're on your PSP exit Go down to your memory stick. There's fast recovery and update. Okay. Go to update. Now I've already installed it, but I took it off just for purposes of this video. Very simple. Just gonna take that out. Okay. It says press X to launch CFW. Pressing X, pressing X again. That's all there is to it. Anything that's on your memory stick will not get deleted, so feel free to leave all that stuff on there. The only time it'll delete is if you hit to format your memory stick and that is it alright so now we go to system information now it says 6.60 Pro B9 alright model 3G now I already have games on there so we're gonna go to the memory stick
Here is Peace Walker. God of War. Resistance Mod Nation Racers. Um, go to just so you. Here's Mind Quiz. It's empty. Alright. Nothing inside. It's as simple as this. Um, <clears throat> so far, I haven't had any problems with loading any games or anything. Um, by the way, this is a Japanese version, so if you're wondering why it's in a different language. So there you go. Once again, there's nothing inside. Oops. <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and load up one more. Okay. No, I'm not even going to load up anymore. I just showed you guys it worked. Now, here is the thing. If your battery dies or if you turn your PSP, if you flip it off, if you don't do a hard reset on it, all right, so I just flipped it on, flipped it off real quick, you'll notice that it's still going to be on 6.60 .60 Pro B9. Now, okay, let's go ahead and turn it all the way off. All right, now it's all the way off. Let's turn it all the way back on and see what happens. <laughs> all right, now you're back to just version 6.60. All right, so this is all you got to do. Don't. Oh, okay, I don't even care anymore. Uh, uh, just go to Act to Your Memory Stick, and now this is when you hit the fast recovery. So all you can delete the update, and you can delete that if you needed to update your PSP. Okay, so all, all you need to is notice how the games are no longer on there. Okay, so they just hit X on fast recovery. There you go. Here's the games back to firmware's back on there. Okay, so once again, you can delete the pro update and you can also delete this update version 6.60. You no longer need those. However, leave fast recovery on there because if you lose battery power or if you completely turn this device all the way off, it will reset and you will no longer be able to play uh, your downloaded games. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Um, if you already subscribed, thank you very much, and I appreciate the support. Stay tuned for more.